Okay, well here she is. Uh, we all recognize this is the Star Trek Enterprise NCC 1701 and dash A type. I'm just going to use a little pointer here. These are the um, landing bay runway lights that we're showing off here on the side. And I think everything is pretty explanatory here. We have the uh, chiller grills down here, which are not active at this point. We have the navigation and strobes, impulse engine, deflector dish. Um, now, <clears throat> this came about from a few of you guys on the science uh, sci-fi model action forum. You guys have been doing a lot of studying on the lighting sequence on, on the Enterprise refit in the first Star Trek movie. And you basically came up with a sequence of events to happen that you wanted uh, tenant controls to implement. And I guess uh, Kenny uh, Lau has been the spokesperson for you guys, and he brought this to me. Now we're going to start the sequence, but <clears throat> we're going to try to do this in a lower ambient lighting so you can see a better effect of it. Let it get all, the camera get all synchronized to itself and refocused. Now we're going to hit this um, button right, whoop, this button right here once, and what's going to happen is the deflector dish is going to come to half power and it's going to stay like that for 10 seconds and then it's going to ramp up the full power okay and then after that it's going to wait 10 seconds and then what's going to happen is as the amber is ramping down the blue is ramping up to full power as you can see um, now while when this has happened this sequence has happened you are allowed to touch the button again and what will happen is the uh, crystal right here on the top of the saucer in the back section and the impulse engines on the back excuse my pointer if you can see it right here um, they just ramped up and stay lit all along the blue uh, deflector dish is still on and you touch the button one more time and they'll ramp down the impulse and the flector, excuse me, the crystal on the top. And you notice what happened is as it ramped down, the chiller grills popped on. Um, this time around, uh, there was no ramp effect desired, so we just made them come on. Now, if you hit the button one more time, those go, the chiller grills go off, and the crystal on the top saucer and the impulse engines ramp back up on and you notice that the navigational deflector dish has stayed blue this whole sequence of series. We touch it one more time and the crystal and impulse engines just ramped off. Okay, And we hit it one more time and you're going to see the navigational deflector dish ramping down to off. And that's it. That's what you folks wanted, uh, and that's what we've implemented uh, in this uh, new combo board, which will be called the Combo MVE. And anyway, we'll have this available very soon. Thank you very much for all your requests.